Hey, how's it going today? I'm gonna keep this video fairly short, but I uh, just wanted to show you about a uh, Lindy HMF50 uh, hydraulic motor breakdown basically. Um, just resealing it so I have a new shaft seal, speedy sleeve, which is housed in, inside uh, this uh, uh, steel housing, you can call it, which goes on the front of the Lindy pump and the shaft goes through there on the front um, that's where the seal will sit inside here in that shaft so I disassembled it in order to you know reseal it obviously and inspect it uh, here are the pistons this wash plate everything looks good here's the pump side The shaft goes the shaft goes through the front. Okay. And this will go inside the housing with the pistons. Uh, one thing you have to remember when you go to remove the seal. Um, as the shaft goes like this, you actually have to pound the shaft through the front of the pump housing uh, in order to disassemble it and change the seal because it cannot go back due to uh, the neck in here, right? So one thing to remember, you have to pound the shaft this way towards the front of the motor in order to disassemble this and obviously you put the new speedy sleeve around here um, so yeah you have to take it apart this is the back section I'm gonna put a new bearing and a new race in here I'm gonna put a new bearing and a race on the front and obviously uh, this seal goes inside this housing which goes on the front um, as I assemble it I'll try and uh, record a few things all right I tapped in a new seal for the front shaft. Now I'm gonna put the speedy sleeve by that shaft that I showed you guys earlier that goes in here. I actually put it outside in the snow so it gets cold and I'm going to put this bearing in some warm oil. That way I can put the bearing on first like this because it will come from this side. Put the bearing on the shaft and then speedy sleeve after the bearing. So I gotta have the bearing on first because the speedy sleeve goes on last. As you can tell, the old one only was hugging about three quarter um, of that shaft after the bearing. So I will go get my frozen shaft <laughs> and uh, warm up this bearing and uh, join them together. Like I said, you freeze the shaft a little bit, warm up the bearing, and uh, it goes on pretty easy. So, the next step is to install a, a speedy sleeve. Obviously, there's my race chilling in the snow as well. That's going to go in the housing for this bearing. So, I want it cold so that way I don't have to uh, press too hard. So, for the speedy sleeve, I'm going to cool my shaft again a little bit. Don't worry, everything gets cleaned. clean with hydraulics so um, so yeah I'll let that cool off we'll heat up my speedy sleeve and uh, it should be easy to put it on okay same process cooled off the shaft and warmed up the speedy sleeve a little bit and like I said it went on pretty easy so our shaft is ready I'll put the new seal in the housing and as you can tell that's going to go like that from the in the front of the housing so the speedy sleeve will sit inside so that should be resealed we'll get a new race in here and uh, slide it from the front once we line up all the pistons with the pump once this is in the housing then we can slide and the new race is installed in the housing we can slide the shaft in this will go last and it's held by a snapper. 
got the shaft nice and clean, dipped in hydraulic oil. Pump is in the pistons. And like I mentioned before, the shaft goes from the front. Okay, now that we got the back bearing on, the front bearing on and a, and a speedy sleeve, the pump cannot fall out of the housing anymore. So, it's pretty much together. Uh, we just have to put um, the shaft seal housing in the front with the snap ring and the back housing after it's cleaned out and then you race. And then we can bolt it up and uh, that's basically the gist of it. Give her lots of hydraulic oil inside before I close her up. In the HMF 50. We just got it resealed. Components look good. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Wow, it's pretty smooth. So call this one.